and we are now live on Facebook and on YouTube. And we want to welcome all of you that are logging in from across the United Kingdom, from across the many social platforms of Facebook and YouTube and of Zoom. We want to thank God for you and thank you for your consistency and your involvement here on this platform. We really appreciate all of you and how you get involved with everything that we're doing here. We thank God for you. Um, tonight is going to be kind of a unique night because I have uh, one or two guests on the platform who are going to be sharing with us tonight and they are going to be helping to facilitate what I will call a prophetic word for the UK and for Europe. Um, I'm going to ask you to listen with your heart and listen with your prophetic understanding of what God is saying and will say to us all tonight. We want God's word and God's prophetic word to us to, 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 to help us open the heavens. But before we even go into the prophetic word tonight, we're going to do something um, tonight. The Bible says, lifting up holy hands. I want men everywhere to lift up holy hands and to pray. We thank God that God has started to answer the prayers of many across the world and across the nation concerning Ukraine. And we want to start by declaring peace over Ukraine. We want to start by saying, Heavenly Father, your will be done and your kingdom come over Ukraine. There are two or three boss words I want us to declare. I want us to declare peace talks, hallelujah, and cease fire. I want us to declare that cease fire and peace talks and peace over Ukraine. The war must stop. The war must come to an end. And as the church, global church, we stand in the gap and we beseech heaven to bring a cessation of war to, you, to, to Ukraine in the name of Jesus, to Donbass and the areas that border Russia with Ukraine. Can you just all unmute yourself? And let's start with that. Just unmute yourself and declare peace, peace over you. Amen. And I'm going to ask um, Lloyd in Scotland and our brother Alan in, 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 in Ireland to, to, to round up that prayer for us. Hallelujah. So Lloyd, if you don't mind just rounding up that prayer for us, and I'm, I just ask you to round, and I'm going to ask Alan to do the same. Hallelujah. Fantastic. Thanks, Jonathan. Um, great to be here tonight. Just going to pray from Psalm 144. 
the rock, my rock and my fortress. Hallelujah. Feel free to, to agree in prayer as well. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we just thank you that you are our rock, that you train mm. our hands for Amen. war. You train our fingers for the battle, the battle that you need us to fight. Thank you for your steadfast love. Thank you that you are our fortress, that you are our stronghold, that you are our deliverer. You are our shield, and you're the one in whom we can take refuge tonight. You're the one who subdues people before us. So, Lord, what is man that you regard him, the son of man that you think of him? We're just like a breath, each one of us, here today, gone tomorrow. We passed away like a shadow. So, Lord, we just thank you that you are eternal. And we ask, Lord, would you bow your heavens? Would you come down? Would you touch the mountains so that they smoke? Would you come and intervene? Lord, would you flash forth the lightning and scatter them, whoever them is? Send out your arrows and rout them, your enemies. Stretch out your hand from on high. Rescue us. Deliver us from the many waters, from the hand of foreigners whose mouths speak lies, whose right hand is a, is a right hand of falsehood. So, Lord, we want to sing a new song to you, O oh God, upon a ten-spring harp. We want to play to you. We want to sing to you victory songs because you are the God of all victory. You rescue us more often than we can count. So we, O oh Lord, love you. Lord, we just pray for you tonight. Would you rescue? Would you deliver? Would you silence those lies? And would you silence falsehood? May our sons and their youth be like plants full grown, our daughters like corner pillars. We pray for the future generations. Would they grow up strong? Amen. Lord, would our granaries be full? Would you provide all kinds of produce? May our sheep bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our fields. May our cattle be heavy with young, suffering no miscarriages. Would there be no cry of distress in our streets? Blessed are the people to whom such blessings fall. I think that's most of us tonight, if you believe and follow Jesus. Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. So we thank you that we are blessed tonight. We thank you that we have a God who sits on the throne in heaven. And we thank you for your saving grace tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Lloyd. Um, Alan, can you just round up that prayer as well? Yeah. Um, just from Psalm 46, God is our refuge and strength an ever present help in trouble. And we proclaim that over the Ukraine, Lord. We proclaim your shalom peace, not just an absence of violence, but an end to chaos, uh, death and destruction. Lord, we proclaim your wholeness, your completeness over that country, Lord. And we particularly pray for places like Maripol, Kharkiv, Luhansk, Donbass. Lord, silence the missiles and the artillery. Stop the rifles and the explosives. Stop death and destruction. And Lord, we pray for peace, true peace, and a rebuilding, a rebuilding of all the places that have been destroyed. And we pray your ever presence into the lives that have been uprooted, of bodies shattered, of hopes taken away, Lord, that you are the God of hope and a future for the peoples of Ukraine, wherever they are. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you very amen, much. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Um, we are going to now move into a different section um, of tonight. And we have our dear brother, Pastor um, Shegun Olugbemi of the um, Global um, Transformation Initiative. I hope I got that right, Pastor Shegun. Um, based in Nigeria, Abuja, and God has put a burden on his heart for the West, and he has been carrying this burden for many years, and we were just listening to him before the, before the meeting started, and our dear brother, um, Roger um, Grasham, um, who has, uh, or who is part of the prophetic platforms across the nation, was able to 
kind of summarize and succinctly some of the prophetic um, content of what Pastor um, Shego is bringing. And Pastor Shego, um, our brother Roger is going to have a dialogue with you, with Alistair from Scotland. And we're just going to engage with you and bring out from you the way in which the Lord has put these burdens upon you. So, Roger, do you want to do you want to introduce prophetically what you picked up and what is coming from the heart of our brother so that we can pray over the United Kingdom, first of all, then Europe and then the nations? Yeah. Thank you, Pastor Jonathan, and good evening to everybody. And it's just a real privilege to be here with you. And and our brother Shegan, um, thank you so much for sharing before the start and opening your heart. And it was so clear as you began to share that there was, um, when God speaks prophetically, for those of you who have been involved in that realm, you'll know that God builds something in you as a person. He takes you through stages of understanding and development and sometimes circumstances. And in, in the case that as Shegan was, was, was sharing with us, it was clear quite a, a number of years ago that uh, uh, Shegan, that God started to speak to you where there was a, a time when uh, there was some permission that would be granted for you to operate in that prophetic realm with dreams and visions. There was a season of repentance that came. And then there was a, a, an opening up of what God was saying to you about Europe, about the UK. Um, and you use the word miscalculations, which was very interesting in political terms, um, the, the things that were going on, because you, you could say, and we can all see and observe at the moment, nationally and internationally, where that's happening. So uh, there was a melting pot was a phrase that you use, Shegan. Would you just begin to open up for us some of the keys of what you felt God was saying about the UK in particular at the start? What were some of the keys that God was saying to us I as a think, nation? I think his, his connection has just gone as ah. you was about to ask him that all <laughs> a very important question. And so um, one of the things I want to use this until we get um, our brother Shegun back, one of the things I believe that we need to do very, very powerfully is to pray that God will establish the prophetic office in the UK yeah. in a way that he did in the office of people like Samuel, where the prophetic word was strong and established, and we knew exactly what God and heaven was saying for the church. There was no confusion. There was no competition with the prophetic. It was clear. It was established, and we, the, like the like the sons of Issachar, we knew what the, what God was saying. Hallelujah. So, first of all, um, um, Roger, thank you for that introduction, and 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 I just let us move in the Holy Spirit. I want us just to pray that God will establish the prophetic office in the United Kingdom in the church that we will understand. Um, what God is saying, because the prophetic office is established and it is strong. Can we, can we, can we just pray into that right now and just begin to just pray over over the prophetic office? Hallelujah! Just unmute yourself. Thank you. Thank you for thank you for the Thank you. 
People of God said, Amen. Hallelujah. And Roger, can you can you round up that prayer for us as and and, and just praying into the prophetic office that the prophetic office will be established in the church in the UK yeah. and we will hear clearly what God is saying from heaven. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Lord, I, I want to just, I just remember that Elijah thought he was on his own, but there were as a company of prophets that God had set aside and therefore it was more than just one. Lord, I pray that we'll have an understanding in the church of Jesus Christ, in the UK, in the nation, that it isn't just about a personality or a person who has a, an obvious gifting in the prophetic realm, that you want to raise up ordinary men and women like us, Lord, and cause us to hear your word very, very clearly in yes. dreams and in visions and yes. Lord, in utterances, Lord, that are come from your heart, Father, that speak life into our nation, that speak hope into our nation, but also speak challenge, Father, to those who are in authority, who are, have the power to make decisions, Lord. I pray, Father, there will be a mixture of, of wisdom and tact and grace and understanding and godly challenge, Father. Lord, that there will be a plumb line raised up through your people, those online tonight, those, Lord, that you want to raise up right across our nation, Father. I pray that you'll do it through your people, Lord, in Jesus name and that you would remove from people, Father, a sense of inadequacy. Who me? Can I be used by you in this realm? The answer is yes. Lord, I pray that you would release, Father, an anointing of the power of the Holy Spirit upon your people, upon your church to release that prophetic voice. In Jesus name, I pray. Amen. 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 And I think we have Pastor Chegun back now. And so, um, Pastor Chegun, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay, so for some reason we lost you, and it seems as if you're having some feedback where you are. Oh wow! Yes. Um, the prophetic office is under attack. <laughs> <laughs> Two so devices are gonna... open. Amen. Yes, it's, it's more than one device open. I think. Yes. So please, um, Pastor Chaku, just make sure you have only one device open so that you are not having some feedback where you are. Hallelujah. We, had to, we were using an iPad, and when we had problems, then we turned over to a, tele, I mean, a phone, and now we had to switch that phone off now. <laughs> okay, thank you. So yeah. I'm going to take this one off. And so, Pastor Chagun, um, what, is, what has God put on your heart concerning the UK? If you can give us a succinct um, um, summary of what God is saying, because most of the people on this platform are the United Kingdom. So what yes. is God saying about the United Kingdom? Not Europe, not America for now, just the United Kingdom, please. Okay. Are you there? Looks like he's frozen, Jonathan. Wow. The prophetic world will not be frozen in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I think this is very interesting because we've never had this. Yeah. I, think we should, I think we should explain, Jonathan, that uh, Sagan is in Norway. Uh, yes, he's uh, logging on from Norway. So maybe that is why they, the signal is... Are you back? Yes, I'm back. <laughs> okay, thank you. We have overcome. <laughs> Amen. We have, we have open heavens. Yeah, I said yeah. the prophetic world will not be frozen in Jesus' yes, name. Yes, you were talking about specific words for the United Kingdom. Yes. There was something I didn't share, which is, which is, I think, which I think is the zinger of what I received. The influence of Islam in Europe is, I mean, in, in the United Kingdom is going to collapse. Okay. God said the things they have acquired over time and surreptitiously gain entrance into the system of the United Kingdom is going to come down. Okay. The Lord said to me specifically, there are going to be, you know, in the issue of what I call miscalculations, there will be some miscalculations. And the Muslims, you know, we bring out about a plot that will now lead to 
a revolt within the system that will shut them down. And although many of them have acquired maybe some, you know, material things and, you know, acquired investments and all that, they're going to come to a time that will be such a shaking within their, you know, financial empire that will shake out the foundation. In fact, the Lord said some of them are going to be seeing visions of God. Amen. And it is putting those ones that are seeing visions and God is speaking to and they can't refute it in persecuting those ones that the system, the government will rise against them because they will be going against the freedom of those ones and the system will work against them. So the influence of Islam in the United Kingdom is coming down. Amen. 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 It's interesting that you say that because at this point in time, we're actually on a 30 day praying chain, prayer chain. You don't know this. Yeah. We're actually on a prayer chain. Some of people here are on the prayer chain. I'm going to bring in Alan to just speak into this because um, we're talking about this. We, we, he and I, we are on a prayer chain hour by hour praying for Muslims to have revelations of the Christ. That is the yeah. focus. And because many Muslims are seeking God, so quite a number of them are sincere. I was a sincere Muslim and God reached me and I had a dream and I got a revelation of my salvation. And so God speaks to many Muslims through dreams. Hallelujah. Our battle mm -hmm. is not against flesh and blood, but it's against the system, the spiritual forces that are behind these false religions. Hallelujah. According mm -hmm. to scripture. So we speak not in our own personal bias, but we're speaking scripture right now. So what you just said is very, very powerful. Um, um, Brian Allen, do you want to speak into that? Just very succinctly. Yeah. I mean, uh, really from the beginning of Ramadan, 24-7 uh, uh, across the UK, people have been praying uh, for their Muslim neighbors, for Muslims in their community, and particularly for leaders in the Muslim community that they would have during this time of prayer and intense fasting, that they would have clear, powerful dreams and visions of Jesus Christ and that that would be transformational not only to them as individuals but for their families th their communities um, that they would receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior in this period amen amen and I'm just going to read a scripture because this is a scripture that came while we were praying pastor you've just kicked off something and we're just going to use that as a prayer point in Acts chapter 9 it says and as he came near Damascus because he was on a jihad that's right um Saul was on a jihad it, he was he was fighting against the Christians and as he came near Damascus suddenly a light shone around him from heaven and he fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him Saul Saul why are you persecuting me and he said, who are you, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. It is hard for you to kick against the gods. And we know what happened to Saul. Saul became Paul. And one of the prayers we prayed, and one of the revelations God gave us, is that God is going to raise up a Saul within the Muslim community in the UK, who is going to become a Paul. Hallelujah. And he's going to be a thorn in the side of, the, of, 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 of that spirit of Islam. And he's yes. going to bring a light from heaven. And he's going to shine the light on the, yes. on the Christ. And say, this, this Muhammad Isa, who we call a prophet, he's actually the Messiah, the son of the living God. And he's going to use Arabic language. He's going to use Islamic parables and revelations. They are going to use them to preach the gospel. Hallelujah. So I want us to unmute ourselves right now. And I want us to pray that God will send a light that will shine. Hallelujah. Not just one, many. Father, 
I just want to pray in the name of Jesus that you will have a revelation of the God 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 of the Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name and the Bible says immediately there fell from his eyes something like scales and he received his sight at once and he he arose and was baptized I prophesy this same scripture over every Muslim male or female that is sincerely seeking the Lord that the scales will fall from their eyes and they will receive their sight and they will arise and they will be baptized in the name of Jesus and immediately he preached the Christ in the synagogues that he is the son of God and many Muslims will preach in the mosque that Jesus is the son of God can we unmute ourselves and prophesy that that is what is going to happen in the United kingdom Give you praise oh, in Jesus' mighty name. We give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. Alistair, do you want to round up that prayer? I'm going to ask Pastor Shegu another question in a moment. Do you want to round up that prayer for us, please? Okay. Father, we thank you for the season we're now in. Lord, we have just celebrated Easter, the wonderful death and resurrection of your son, Jesus. Death taken captive, death defeated. We are alive. Amen. And we pray that for every Muslim, not just in this country, but throughout the world. Hallelujah. We pray that their spirits would come alive. Hallelujah. Through an encounter with the risen Christ. We pray that they will dream dreams and see visions. We pray that the man in white, as we've heard so often, will become a reality 
not just to thousands, but tens of thousands. Amen. Hundreds of thousands. And Father, we're asking, Lord, you, you, I, I love your stories in the Bible where you do a suddenly. Lord, we're asking for a suddenly here. We're not asking this for a, to be a creeping increase, Lord. We're asking for a suddenly that divinely you would intervene in the lives of tens of thousands of Muslims and they would suddenly have their hearts warmed as your love pours into them and they would suddenly have the scales from their eyes taken and they would see as they've never seen before the reality and the truth that there is only one God and his son is called Jesus, Yeshua Messiah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, 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 amen. Pastor Chagun, you had another prophetic word about immigrants that um, God gave you for the United Kingdom. Can you tell us what that was, please? Yes, another thing uh, I heard is that immigrants will be stirred up in their spirits to begin to move out, you know, begin to reach out from within the UK to begin to spread. And a lot of them, we, we integrate. That is not just, just, you know, evangelizing, but integrate. Here is something, here's a strategy the Lord gave me that we work. And he says, people, uh, the pastors, those who have influence should do this. Get the young ones, children, and the youths, and then hold them to a meeting, maybe a committee, and release them into the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Let them come into experiences and encounter. The Lord says to me, he will be having, those kids will be having encounters that will go beyond what they have, will go beyond what they have ever heard about God. And then they will now become tools to even reach out to their families. Things will begin to happen in families and they will be caused by young ones. They will be caused by young ones within the United Kingdom. In addition, the immigrants, we have the influence. They will begin to feel the pool of God to come in. Some are still out who are going to come in and their purpose is to integrate in the system and work within the system to take out the word, to take out the word. And those who are in the system, some are there right now. And again, you see, I, I, I celebrate God for the older folks whose heart this body for revival is because the Lord has not left you without someone. There's going to be a switch. There's a change of baton. And there are young people that God is raising who are going to run with the baton of the body in your heart. Amen. And they will be the instruments that God is going to use. Amen. So the immigrants are going to play very major roles because in their hearts, God is going to say, you are not contented with where you are. It will stir their hearts. And then the fire burning within them will cause them to relocate from city to city and some out of the nation in order to fulfill this word that we're, we're sharing today. Thank you. Thank you, man of God. I'm going to use two scriptures that God gave me that are sequential in their chapters, Isaiah 60 and Isaiah 61. And Isaiah 60 says, Arise and shine, for your light has come, O Britain, O British Isles, O Ireland, O Scotland, England, and Wales. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. It says, your, the Gentiles shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Lift up your eyes around you and see they all gather, they come to you. Your sons shall come from afar. Your daughter shall be nursed at your, at your side and you shall see and become radiant. So we want to pray that all those that God is bringing according to his agenda. When I came to this country, God said, you're not here by accident, but you're here as part of my recruitment to this part of the world in preparation for the coming of my son, Jesus Christ. So there are people that God is going to bring and people that are here, they are sons and daughters that are not white. They are not English. They are not Scottish, but they are as English as they come in their hearts. Hallelujah. They are Scottish as Irish and Welsh as they come because they have a burden for the land. And we say that the sons and the daughters shall come from afar. And the second thing I want us to pray is Isaiah 61. That the spirit of the Lord is, is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. We, we want to pray that the, the Lord will pour out the whole of the Holy Spirit upon the younger generation and that they will rise up in the spirit of Elijah. Hallelujah. The Elishas will arise and they will follow Elisha. Hallelujah. They will follow Elijah. So from one generation to another generation 
in the name of Jesus. We pray that the anointing on the, on, on the older generation will be poured out, the same spirit will be poured out on the younger generation in Jesus' mighty name. Can we unmute ourselves and just begin to just pray? Hallelujah. Just begin to just pray. in the name of Jesus, I just want one or two people to raise their Jesus hand, just unmute themselves and round up that prayer, that on the prayer over the young people and the spirit of the Lord falling upon them and those who God has called as immigrants, and those who God has called from the four corners of the world to come in here and integrate with his kingdom plan. Hallelujah. Amen. Mignon, you wanted to pray? You put up your hand? Yes, I will. I'd like to pray for the children and, Go and for the young people. Yes. yes. Father, we just thank you, Lord, for your might and your power. Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I just ask and agree with everyone who's prayed that you'll pour out your spirit, Lord, on the young people and on the children. Thank you, Lord, they'll experience the mighty baptism of your Holy Spirit. And we pray, Lord, that an army of young people will be raised, Lord God, to proclaim your word. And they will love you, oh God, with all their heart, with all their soul, with all their mind and all their strength. And only want to please you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And Mary, Kelsey, you wanted to pray? You're, you're muted, Mary. You're muted. I don't know why it's still. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear um, you. Thank you, Lord, for Jonathan. All the people uh, from the Commonwealth, uh, different nations around the world that you've given the burden to pray for our nation, the UK, Britain. And we just thank you for them, Lord. And we pray, Lord, that you would encourage and strengthen them, Lord, to go in, out in power, proclaiming your gospel. Indeed, arise, shine, that you would, any uh, spirit of intimidation or fear or uh, that they don't belong, anything like that, Lord, that you would take away. You would empower them with the Holy Spirit to move as a mighty army, proclaiming your gospel and calling the young people to rise in the spirit of Elijah and yes. the double portion of Elisha. In the name of Yeshua, amen. amen. Amen and amen and amen. I'm going to call on Clive Williams to just round up that prayer, if you can. Yes, Lord, I pray that you'll move upon the, the immigrant children of God of the United Kingdom from the Commonwealth of God. I pray, God, that you let them lead the way, God. There are millions of them in this country of God. Millions of them who are Christians of God, and they go to schools among their English and Muslim friends and our prayer God, that you'll let them evangelize to them, oh God, let them witness to them, embolden them, oh God, I pray, that they will turn to Christianity. My God, it's a, a, a great chance. My God, in the school, there are millions of um, immigrant children, oh God, mixing with different ethnic groups. And it's a great way of witnessing, oh God, because they are their peers, oh God, they can witness to them, oh God, on a level, they see them every day, my God, in class, in the playground. And I pray, God, that you'll give them the ability to evangelize, to witness among them, God. Let it become a, a natural way of life for them in the name 
of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you very much. And the last person, Janet, and we're going to round up now. Lord, I just uh, want to pray, especially for students at university, Lord. Um, Lord Almighty, we're just asking that all throughout this nation, all the universities will be touched with your fire. Lord Almighty, I just speak a double portion over all, all this, this, this youth, Lord, all, all these young people, Lord. I had had the privilege of leading many, many students from the universities to the Lord on the streets. And Lord, I just asking that all those people who have made that commitment for you, Lord, that you will rekindle the fire, that you will rekindle that love to them, Father, and that you call them into being. Father, I'm just asking for a multiplication of youth today in this nation who will be set out, Lord, by your spirit to go out, Father, like the army of the living God, Lord Almighty, in the power of, Lord, of double portion. Father God, as you did with Elijah and Elisha, Father, Lord, that double portion will come, Lord, to all the youth in this nation, Father, who will seek your heart, who will go for you, Father, to bring glory and honor to your name in the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 I'm sorry, we've run out of time now. Um, I wish I could really get everybody to pray, but we really want to thank um, Pastor Shegun Olubemi for coming on tonight. Pastor Shegun, thank you very much. Even though we could not, um, we can't go for more than uh, 45 minutes an hour of our usual time. We want to thank you for um, being here, sir. Thank you very much for coming. And um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to speak to you separately and perhaps get your word written down so that we can distribute it, weigh it amongst the prophetic people and get it um, um, in, in, into the hands of those who, of the leaders that need to hear it. And so we want to thank you. Thank you, sir, for all that you're doing and that you're going across the, across Europe and what you have brought here in terms of the way, the, the, the word, we receive it. We do not despise prophecies and we are going to run with the substance of that word in Jesus' mighty name, sir. Thank Amen. you. Thank you very much. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Before, before before we go, I just have one or two things I want to say to you. I don't know whether Adam, I don't know whether Adam is still on the line here with I me. I'm here, Pastor Jonathan. Okay, um, Adam, do you you had one or two announcements you wanted to, to bring, right? I, you, I did indeed. Thank you, uh, Pastor Jonathan. I think it's great to be back from, from Skegness back to Bedford. Who'd have thought that I've wanted to get back to Bedford so quickly? But it's been, it's great to be back with you uh, this week. Last week at, at uh, Spring Harvest in... Uh, in, in Skegness. Just a couple of things. People have been sending in any emails to uh, the inbox. Um, there is uh, the link to register for the for the uh, prayer chain if you haven't done that yet and you do want to stand with us. They aren't live Zoom meetings. A couple of people have been in touch with us and said, where do I get the link to come and join you at the time there's a, there's the, the, the time I've allotted down is, is happening? It's not. It's for you to pray in your own, in, in your own home or whoever you gather with, but please let us know that you have signed up. At some point today, and I, I don't know exactly when it happened, but at some point today we crashed the system because there's so many people signing up. So please let me encourage you, if you struggle to, to get onto the system or there's a problem, please do keep trying. But if there are issues with trying to sign up for the, the prayer chain, then please do drop an email to info at ndopw.com info at ndopw.com and uh, do drop us an email and again if you sense god saying anything as well we want to, to, to hear from from you if you sense the lord saying anything as you pray over and join us with these uh 50 days of prayer we're going to be sharing more details in the coming uh weeks about what comes up as we kind of get towards the end of that so please do bear with us but 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 thank you for those of you that have got just going i want to get involved just mark the 10 days leading up to Pentecost and the Pentecost weekend. Keep those dates in your diary and we'll be sharing more in the, the coming in the coming days. Um, just one last other thing to, uh, to to share. A couple of you have also been in touch. And it, I, 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 I say it this way so that people don't feel embarrassed. If anybody has wanted to give, Pastor Jonathan a couple of weeks ago did say, 
we're looking to see if we can have 50 people every single month as we go through the network, 50 people that would stand with us financially in order to ensure that every bill for the National Day of Prayer and Worship is paid. Some of you have got in touch to say that you've struggled to use the donate button. If you have a problem and you want to give, there is a lovely gentleman who works with us who is very happy to ring you up and help you make that payment, either as a one-off gift or as a monthly gift. If you want us to arrange a phone call from, from our good friend Gareth, who will help you do that so you can give to the work of the National Day of Brown Worship. Again, drop an email, info at ndopw.com. Drop an email. You can go onto the website, but I know some of you have struggled and some of you got in touch and some of you got, I just can't do it. If that's you, then drop me uh, an email, but also put your phone number in the email address, uh, in the email that you send, and we'll make sure that somebody comes back to you and enables you to give and to sow into the vision of the National Day of Prayer Watcher. That's That was all I wanted to say this evening, but just because I know there's been a couple of those emails over the course of the last couple of weeks, I thought it'd be easier rather than some, putting it into our e-news just to, 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 to respond in that way to everybody to say, look, please do stand with us. Do, if you're having problems with the 24-7 the uh, prayer chain, please persevere. If you've got any problems, drop an email and we'll try and help you log in because we want to know who is praying over the course of the 24 hours and if you want to give to the work of the National Day Prayer Worship as well. If you struggle, <laughs> drop us an email, but put your telephone number in and there'll be somebody that will give you a ring so that we can... They're asking, they're asking to drop the email there. Drop the email address there into the into the group chat, um, Adam. I if will you drop the email address into the group chat now. So it's info at ndopw.com. It's a really simple email address and that goes to all of us on team. So we're all able to pick it up and basically... Uh, Pastor Jonathan, Carl and I kind of go, which one of us is due to respond? But we all see that. So please, that's the best way to get in touch with us. Thank you very much, Adam. And we've come to the end. I'm sorry for those of you that have raised your detailed hand because of, of time. But I just want to give you this exciting um, development. Our 50 days is going to lead us up to the 5th of June, which is Pentecost Sunday. On Pentecost Sunday, We've been given permission by a wonderful media house to beam a life, life service into the homes of multitudes, okay? I want you to pray along with us because we're going to be joining up to that so that the word of God can spread. We want the word of God to spread. We're not going to go there and have a compromised um, version of a service. We're going to deliver the word of God using the media platforms to the whole nation so please pray along with us that all our plans for that will come to pass we're just tying up a few things and logist and, and and legally we don't want to we cannot announce um, the name of that media house until um we have tied things up with them properly um they're they're they're, 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 they're the, the, the 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 media house will give us that permission and we'll share that with you um, in a few weeks from now. Between now and the 2nd of May, we're going to be praying for Ukraine. We're going to be praying for our Muslim neighbors. We're going to be praying into the nation. Those of you that want to join this specific prayer chain, just click the link that was sent to you and join the 24-hour prayer chain, praying for revelation to hit our Muslim um, um, neighbors during the month of Ramadan. And so this, 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 this prophetic word for the house of Ishmael, for the house of Islam, seems to be a recurring one. And I believe that God wants to use this season of the month of Ramadan, which seems to overlap with Passover, overlap with Easter. He wants to give, bring the church's attention to it, that there's a need for prayer. So please pray that we have breakthrough in this area and many Muslims begin to understand and have a revelation of who Jesus is is hallelujah we're going to be rounding up right now and i'm going to ask diane because she's had a hand up for such a long time i'm going to ask you to just round up in prayer and we and make it very short and then we will share the lord's prayer we can't hear you diane and we've waited so long for you and now you are muted Hello? yes we can hear you now i just wanted to share something in a prayer meeting some time ago Across the front of me was an iron bar and there were hands at either end of the iron bar. I said, Lord, what is that? 
he said and he just the iron bar if i can show you um he just bent it like it was made of rubber i said lord what is that he said that's what i'm going to do with islam okay <laughs> so the, the the spirit of islam god is going to overcome not people we're not praying against people no, no, we're no. praying against no i'm not saying you i'm just speaking i'm saying the lord will break the yoke the yeah. yoke shall be broken hallelujah the yeah. yoke shall be broken in jesus name Amen. the yoke is broken in jesus Amen. mighty name Amen. when we speak Amen. that That's and declare right. that every yoke of unbelief every yoke of darkness is broken off our muslim neighbors in Jesus' mighty name. And Amen. most of them are going to come like Saul. Their eyes are going to be open and they're going to witness that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So, Father, Amen. we thank you for everybody on this platform. And I would like us to mute ourselves and let's share the Lord's prayer together. Thank you for Alan. Thank you, um, 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 uh, um, Adam. Thank you, Alan and, and, and Anne. Thank you, Pastor Shekel. Thank you, Alistair. Thank you, Lloyd. Thank you, Roger. Thank every single one of you for joining us tonight. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, for joining us. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Colin. Thank you, Betty. Oh, yes. <laughs> thank you, Clive. Yeah, thank you. God bless you. God, you. Russell, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Barbara. God bless Russell Johnson. God bless Sheila. God bless you. God bless you. Richard. Rachel, thank you. God bless you all. God bless you. Martin. God bless And Priscilla, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you all. God bless you all. And God bless all of you on the social media platforms. Bye.